Hello fellow armchair generals, this is a live commentary battle where I am playing as RDA versus... I don't remember Ro, perhaps? Well, I'm bringing a fairly hoplite heavy build here because Illyria has, or RDA has, pretty good um, armor on the hoplites and uh, they, you can bring a lot of them because they are fairly cheap for their uh, the level of armor that they can bring which I feel will help them against Rome. Now their cavalry is absolutely done so I'm just going to use the cavalry as a kind of speed bump to try to uh, stop his cavalry from doing too much harm to my slave slingers and going to make sure to keep them well protected because they don't stand a chance against anything really. So here we go, group up the guys and I think we are ready. I have a slight advantage here, depends on if my opponent is uh, stations his army here or here, if he stations his army on this hill then I could be in trouble. Uh, at least I'm going to have to move down a bit. If he decides to stay up there, he could. But usually people will meet you about halfway. I don't see too many campers in quick battles these days. But if he decides to take advantage of uh, the hill, then that's fine by me. Makes him more stationary and makes my job of surrounding him all the more easy. about to start here and you can see I have a slight advantage in the balance of power probably because I brought a full stack and I have little cavalry so a lot of men just about uh, above 2000 men 2010 I think let's see where he put his guys yeah he wasn't so bad so I'll oblige him by moving down the hill for a bit just to show that I'm not going to camp up here, which would be a bit boring. Uh, Chris, his name is. So, he's going to have to charge uphill if he wants to come at me here. So I'm going to be a bit nice and move down towards him instead. I still have the advantage there. So let's take a look at his build. Velites, Leves, Vigiles, Praetorians, Soki, Equites Extraordinary, Vigiles, Leves, War Dogs, Leves, uh, Praetorians, First Cohort, Auxiliary Infantry, Praetorian Guard, Vigiles, and Auxiliary Numidian Cavalry. If I lose this battle, I'm going to have to chastise myself to a significant degree because I'm going to have to make a ton of mistakes in order to lose against this type of build. I don't see anything he has have the killing power to stop my uh, stop my guys here. And war dogs, I mean against uh, horse archers, maybe, but against uh, the uh, Illyrians, I don't really see it. I'm just going to be, have to be careful about my huge uh, slinger line there, so they don't get uh, caught by the war dogs, but I'm not too worried since I'm using uh, Hoplites to uh, to stop that from happening. I'm just going to move up with these guys here and only Velites, so I'm not too worried about the range. I'm going to try to pick off his skirmishers and then just lay it into his uh, his uh, Praetorian. So now the uh, one of the advantages I find of being uh, aggressive and just moving up is that your opponent is more than happy to allow you to do that. Uh, so he won't start maneuvering, and he'll stay fairly, fairly, uh, he'll stay fairly still, which is fine by me. So I'm just about to get into range here, and he's moving off with some vigilates, but not really worried about that. So 
I'm in range with two of my slingers here. So they can just start firing and annoy him a bit. Uh, the, I don't see any... Balearic slingers or stuff like that? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, the Vigilates will be torn up, so now I'm just going to shoot at whatever is in range, basically. And move the Hoplites up a little bit, so I can move all my slingers into range. He doesn't really have any huge threats to my slingers, so I can just keep them in a thick formation there. I'm going to move these. No, I won't be able to push through there. To slowly, slowly envelop him. Um, I'm not really too. Um, it's not really too critical what I'm shooting at here because uh, none of his his units are really threatening to my guys but might as well make sure that I'm not shooting at his um, guys that are in in um, the studio so the vigilates are dropping and I'm going to just move in here and start shooting at his uh, Praetorian cavalry his levees and here we go Praetorian cavalry is going to get it it's probably going to move them, but let's see. Yep. So there, there's not really much my opponent can do with this build here, uh, other than getting shot to death. He's going to lose his Praetorians here. Now he realizes that he has to move up, I think. So he's moving up in the studio. Victorian Cavalry is out of the game, so I'm going to start shooting at Isoki. Equites Extraordinary, which is going to put me out of bracing, but it's going to... Since he's charging uphill, he won't get a really good charge here. Now my Slingers are moving in, so I'm just going to push them back here. Move my Hoplites over there. Move my Hoplites here. I'm just going to charge with them and finish off the. Hopefully, get a good charge while he's in uh, Phalanx. Charge the Vigilates down here. And these uh, cavalry units should be wrapped up quite nicely by my Marines. Now, I'm going to push up my. Hoplites to protect the slingers. Just start engaging him all across the board here. There's nothing I'm too worried about, as you can see. Victorian Guard, of course, dangerous unit, but the way they are positioned, they're not really huge threats. I'm going to send in my general here, try to break through. Just keep a few units here in defense. Try to stop his Equites, rear charge the Praetorians, throw javelins at the Equites, and now I have to watch out for any mounted units. So we can just take out his general there. Getting hammered by Velites, charging them with my cavalry, charging the cavalry with spears. His general should die very soon. Yep, focus fire on his general. And here we go. General is dying. The Levis are dying next to him. He does have some dangerous Praetorians and stuff left, but they are all bunched up and won't be able to do much here. Going to get the Hoplites in for rear charges. General is gone. I'm uh, going to start shoot at the, shooting at his Praetorians here. His Praetorians are... His Equites are routing. And now the first cohort and the rest of the guys are just going to... Crumble. Basically. Slingers are focusing fire here on the Praetorians. As you can see, they are dying quite nicely. Well, the, this is a better target actually because uh, their backs are turned to me. I'm just going to charge here with everything, charge there. 
the war dogs. She let them go, but they are probably stuck somewhere on uh, some hopeless days and they aren't able to deal with units that are heavy. Victorians, shoot them in the back. And charge the Suki. The Victorians are basically dead. Do this mass slinger fire here. Uh, I think that's a GG pretty soon. I'm going to <laughs> be courteous and not call it until it's actually a GG, but it's there's not much my opponent can do here. Sending in the rest of the guys. Um, just mopping up everyone. I'm going to lose this uh, noble Hoplites, I'm going to lose these Praetorians. So I'm not able to support them here. I think they'll die anyway. No matter. So, first cohort. Praetorians are surrounded. But the ability to get some more melee defense. And. Slingers are killing the first cohort. See all these, you can see all these uh, small pebbles rolling down here. Looks like clay pebbles they're using. Um, the Torian surrounded, but still they are they're still in the fight. <laughs> It was his second battle, but um, yeah, so pretty challenging build to come up against, I guess. GG. So I don't need to save the replay because I streamed this. So that's the end of the battle, a decisive victory. Uh, 1200 kills versus 400 and the Roman build was a bit um, well I see no reason to bring Vigilace at all uh, Leves against uh, RDA not a good choice and these cavalry units I don't uh, I'd rather see some legionary cav with just some equites and cheap units and then more solid infantry because this Roman infantry corps uh, I don't know if you noticed but this battle was fairly similar to um, my last battle against um, against Rome the builds were very similar as well and it was uh, there it was totally annihilated just not enough good infantry and not enough cavalry that's able to really deal with with this type of uh, Illyrian uh, army but uh, GG to my opponent uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the battlefield